Villain! What do you want? You stand in the way of a new age dawning. Sis, I'm scared. It's all right. I'll protect you, and I'll work, I swear. Behold, the widening rift in the sky. It's proof definite the world abhors you. Spare me your ravings. Oh, Lady Melia, the hope of our race. Gelgar, what is this treachery? As you can see, I am sweeping away some pebbles. Their research is blasphemy against the commingled blood. Don't you comprehend the import of what you're interrupting? The very future of our race hinges on their work. You think this is the future? This reactionary struggle to revive what is long buried? The future of the Hyentia is us. We are what the race ought to become. We are the true face of the Hyentia. If not for our ancestors, we would never even have drawn breath. Ancestors? I recognize them not. You, Lady Melia, are our progenitor. You were our beginning, and you will be our future. Senseless drivel. If you would interfere with this research for the sake of spouting your nonsense, you do not deserve my mercy! Melia! Why won't you understand? Why won't you accept that we are the ones destined to lead? You will not so easily refute our history! So be it! I reject you! I will take the mantle and become father of our kin! I will take dominion over all, Summon and the world will be set to right! I know I am not wrong. I'm not. I will spare you. Just be gone from my sight. Crown is mine now. Talon! Vixus, help! Better safe than sorry. The pure blood meets its end today! Are you okay, Talon? Telethia, here! Damn! She's okay. She's all right.
I'm sorry. I couldn't save. <gasps> the future. house. The lab went up in flames, so we carried you here. The lab? <gasps> I'm sorry, Teelan. I failed you. Miss Malia. You damn fool! What possessed you to do that? What happened to safeguarding the future of the Hyentia? And bringing our brethren back home were those just words to you? You should think long and hard about what the death of a leader would mean for us! Come on, big sis. That's enough! Don't defend her. This idiot child! I had to. What? To protect it at all cost. The research. How can you be so fixated on that? Our salvation lies therein. I believe it now. Melia! And yet... Ultimately, it was for naught. I caused trouble for everyone. And I couldn't even save the documents. Poor oh, Miss Melly. That's not true. If you and your friends hadn't come when you did, there might not have been anything left of the research to continue with. And also... Here. What's this? It's the book you carried out of the fire. Ring any bells? <gasps> this tome? We found it in the tomb? Yeah. The book that started my research. If we have this, me and Tyrea can carry on with our work. Sis, are you with me? Uh, yes, right. We can study the problem until we make some headway. Miss Melia, thank you. Likewise. Teelan, Tyrea. You've only just woken up. Come on. We'll let you rest. Yes. Thank you. What that for? Can I use triple snooze for sea sweet dreams? That seem extremely excessive. <laughs> <laughs> This might just be what we need to defeat the Fog King. Yeah. Feeling better? Yes. Much better now. What a relief! Miss Molly, good as new. Kino saved day again. Less braggy, please. Friends, I'm sorry I worried you. And I abused your hospitality. Please forgive me. No. You saved this place and we owe you. Big time. This was the least I could do. I will not stop now. I swear to do what I can for the good of Grandel. I appreciate it. Just... don't go running yourself ragged for us. I promise. We seem to be missing Tyrea. Oh! If you're looking for her, she figured the fog beasts might strike again, so she went out on patrol. The likes of us aren't exactly trained for battle. So, really, any help is welcome. You're right. I feel sorry for any beasts that wander into Tyrea's path. <laughs> By the way, did I hear you mention something about defeating the Fog King? All thanks to our friend's research. Is that so? Quite. A sterling achievement, Teelan. Just an accident. Still, even so, your devotion to your mother may well have saved our future. <laughs> All right. 
What do we have to do? How do we defeat the Fog King? We found Aether attacks effective against Fog Beasts, but not against the Fog King. That's because the Aether's concentration was too low. Concentration? Concentration? Pipe down when adults talking, dum dum. But Kino is so bored. The whole thing got me wondering. Why did fog beasts appear when the rift got wider? I think the intensity of the rift's rays exceeded the density of the Telethia's ether field. Um, none of that makes any sense to me. How is the density connected to the fog king? If we could put up an ether field denser than the Telethia's, the fog king will become vulnerable. How does one put up an ether field? Secondly, where does one obtain such highly concentrated ether? For the field, I think this guy will do the job with a little tinkering. In that case, it's just a matter of gathering up enough high purity ether crystals, except. Except what? Those kinds of ether crystals are extremely rare. I'm not sure where I'd even start looking. There might be. None at all around here. Oh, cheer up, all of you. It is not a foregone conclusion, and in any scenario, if we cannot defeat the Fog King without them, we will have to keep looking until we find them. Hmm, true enough. Good. Then let us start by asking around. Hey! Okay.
No good! Looks like we don't have a choice! The time of place! This block one! 